Hey up, I'm Vu and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Ah, always enjoy these episodes. Nice straightforward game to play. So we're currently in the previous episode, we were doing a bit of searching, or getting prisoners searched within our prison. Uh, I think we might have to get a few more guards by the looks of it, because we're maxing out. Well, of course we're going to be maxing out because we're doing searching. But no, I've done a little bit of reading as to what's going on with these cells. There was a maximum density that each cell can be, and I think it was, what was it, around four squares per tile? I think there's something around that limit, so even dividing the cell up doesn't allow you to put more prisoners in the cells, which is a little bit of a shame, but I think we've, we've dealt with most of the issues right now and can support more prisoners, so hopefully we can get a few extra people in. Yeah, because a lot of these are family cells. I don't know if that means we'll get more family members. Okay, that is odd. Maybe that's a feature. I've never seen that before. <laughs> but the good thing is that we haven't actually found too many bad or uh, restricted items. Nothing too much to worry about there. Now I want to start checking out the research and working out what we can head towards next. Now we're nearly... Getting, we've got through most of the research. A lot of this starts to get very expensive and very hard. Um, but on a side note as well, we've got here small cells. So the small cells, okay, it says here the cells in the prison are required a certain amount of space to leak for legal requirements. But what it says here is remove the minimum size requirements for a standard cell. The thing is that doesn't apply for um, a dormitory. A dormitory still gets the same restrictions. Still can pack more people in in general when it comes to size, but yeah. That's that's how it works out there. So, don't think we're going to head towards small cells, but maybe permanent punishments, offshore tax haven. Don't think we have the money for something quite that much. Uh, let's see, 51 with 6,000 intake. I want to see if we can optimize the intake as well. I guess we'll just see how, how what turns out then, more or less. So, okay, back to back to this because we know roughly what we're going to head towards. Now, I do want to start heading towards the where is it? Part of research. Oh wait, we've got access to death row. How about execution liability? Permanent punishments and small cells. Um, I'm going to go for small cells. I think that's really going to be the best thing for us right now. And maybe guard towers. Just place them around the corner of the facilities. It's an idea. It means that anyone trying to escape gets shot instead of leaving. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And what is up with this corner block here? That is really quite bizarre. It's not down the same at the bottom. Mm, nope, okay, I'm not too sure what's going on there. How about we'll leave it and we'll just see how, how things are turning out right now. Hmm. Everything seems to be balanced. Uh, these rooms are always going to be a little bit awkward with the rooms, but I think leaving it split is fine for the time being. I think we'll end up having to reduce the beds. How many beds will we have to reduce? Probably a few. Probably maybe one row in this room and leave the other row like so. Actually, if we move the wall, we actually have a bigger space then. We get a couple of extra blocks. Don't know if that's really enough to fit more prisoners in, but we'll find out. Okay. So, demolish walls. Just demolish this internal wall. And, of course, getting rid of the... Whoops, something's going on. Can we get rid of one caller? And... Actually, cancel that. Yeah. We'll keep the other toilets there, but just we've got to get rid of the heater because that's too much. Yeah, there's too many heaters, it will heat up this room way too much, and I think that means it will be too warm for our prisoners. Oop, and now it's raining. Excellent. Gosh, that's not noisy. Oop, and that's the other thing we have to fix, and that, yeah, that's reduced our prisoner capacity quite a lot. Hopefully we'll get this fixed up before anything too bad goes wrong. I might, may have let that play for a little too long. Um, I'm just going to fix up that one line there, and then that makes it one unified cell again. Awesome. And yep, back up to 207. I think we we're at 201, so it did give us a few extra places. Mmm, that is noisy. I'm going to turn the volume a little bit there. Yep, okay. I think I might have to put, end up putting fences just so they stop walking the gravel, because I would prefer them to walk on the pavement. Something that their game could probably optimise. If the prisoners would prefer to walk on actual pavement than gravel itself. Huh. Okay, well, we'll let it be and continue building. So I think what we'll do down here is just end up uh, mirroring the top half of these cells down the bottom. So first things first, of course, we need the door. So, uh, darn it. Let's get this right. 
jail door and we're just going to match it up to what the top section has so we just need one in each cell block this allows us to um yeah one in each cell block it just allows us the allows the building to form and then we can just clone it and the we can then just use a clone tool and place all the items in so it should work out well anyhow i just noticed we're missing a bit of heating at the end okay i never actually connected the pipe work put the pipes up it's a very simple thing to fix up there we go that means we've got hot water down this end of the buildings as well. Yep. Okay. And also remembering to leave these doors locked open. Because these doors can be locked shut when we need to do our lockdown of the facility itself. So, yeah. Onto the cloning tool. So, quick build. Clone tool. I'm just going to grab the top half of this cell. It's all half a cell at a time by the looks of it. So, something like that. And then on this side as well. That would do the job quite well. And these should, in theory, be mirroring the um, cells on the left, but I'll just copy them anyhow. There we go. Bit of spending, but that gives us another room, and that's going to be fine for family members, so we shouldn't have to worry about them anymore. Oh, that's my hope at the very least. I might even have to expand this storage room, because it is very full. Or even make a second storage room somewhere closer to the other end of the facilities. It's a thought. Anyhow, I want to search this uh, cell block again. And maybe this cell block? Oops, cell block. Cell block. Okay, it doesn't actually count as a cell block, interestingly enough. Okay, I'll just search all these cells again. Just given that how close they are to the outside wall. Uh, they have a high chance of escaping, unfortunately. I have got a guard dog. I do have a guard dog along the back, but they may choose just to go straight out. We'll have to see how that turns out. See, where are all the guards? All the guards are dealing with these people. That is a lot of people stuck in a very small area. Be nice if they just shuffled on out. Could help with privacy or freedom? No. Which one is it? It's probably privacy. Uh, let's take a look. We have experiences, isn't it? Isn't it? Um, okay, I don't know. Up the top, we can probably see. I'm supposed you can't click on this menu. I always think you can click for some reason. But I'm not seeing anything new. Okay, well, it's probably under one of these we'll be able to see what we're looking for. Field 277, family sales not counted. Okay, so we're getting a small intake. It's not much. I wonder, can we change the ratio just to have a few more medium set? Because that's a little bit more money. How about a 50-50 ratio? Sort of a 50-50. Anyhow, um, let's just keep them going. I know it's in one of these, yeah. Needs. Clothing, so we might need to get another laundry set up, possibly. Or more laundry, laundry work happening. Uh, privacy, looks like, could we work on. And family. So, family need contact with, uh, okay, so they need contact with family members, phones, and visitation facilities. A mail room can also help. Okay, that's something we can definitely work on, a mail room. But we also need more space if we want to... Um, place it onto this area down here, I wonder. When we take a look at what the mail room requires, mail, I can never see what I'm looking for. Mail room, minimum size, indoors, sorting desk and table. That's pretty easy to get set up and oops, move around. So if we were to place it somewhere, um, I like the idea of placing it along the back wall here, because we've sort of done something like that over here. And I think personally that works. Um, but do we want to place it? I want to make sure it's accessible wherever we place it and will, will be used by most of the prisoners. Maybe placing it off the yard, so just along this area down here. It's a bit, a bit of a further walk away from the road itself, but I suspect that won't be a big issue. So we're going to do that. We're going to place the mail room down in the bottom half, and I think we'll make it, what's that, 6 by 11. Um... Yeah, because that's in line with this wall, and that should work out. So hopefully they get around to building it, and then we'll have a new awesome building. Yep, people are getting tased. Uh, still haven't got this very balanced. I'll get, get it fixed up. I think the mail room will be certainly one of the bigger helpers. Also, when it comes to... Um, whoops, I just realised that's going to demolish the ball. Cancel the foundation, try it again. Um, concrete wall because you have to select inside when there's an, a wall that you can attach onto. So that's actually will be something like that. Don't know what's going to happen with that corner block, but we'll see. And also we're going to do the same just over here as well. 
But this one, I guess, can be an arbitrary length. Oh, actually, because I'll tell you what I was thinking of. So what I was thinking of was when we go into rooms, there is actually a shop. There we go. It's a minimum of 4x4, four four, and that's not 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's exactly 4x4. Four four. That is very nice. And then, yeah, of course, we can get a 4x4 four four style. It means we can make it longer again. No, I think that will work out fine then. So, 4x4 four four is in the internal, near the one for the outside wall. We might just extend it just a little bit down, given that there isn't much space to work with. I think something like that will do. It's a little bit longer than this one, but I don't think it's going to be too... That's going to annoy me now. Try it again. And we'll just make it the same length. There we go. That'll work quite well. And it's balanced. Can't say I wasn't trying there. <laughs> so yeah, we'll let these people continue building. I get a feeling that most of the builders have to walk around the facility. Yeah, to get access to this area. Which is somewhat of a shame, but we'll let them continue going. And yeah, they've had to walk the long way around. Actually, they're going around the bottom half. Huh, makes sense. It is a lot shorter distance. <laughs> it's a bit amusing seeing them wander around like that. Okay, so let's see. You, that requires an entrance, and also this one requires an entrance. I guess for the time being, I'll put a large jail door. And we'll place it on just the inside wall. Also a... And not forgetting a footpath as well. It's not paving stones, it's concrete tiles. And like that. So that should work well. Um, now the thing with the shop front is you can act, you actually put like a dividing... What is it? Oops, that's not good. Can we... Uh, don't tell me I've screwed it up again. Requires entrance. Why does it require an entrance? I thought we put a door down. Maybe I don't fully understand these, um, how the buildings are working. Yeah, place a door there and see if that's enough. But now we get a door stuck open, which I'm not too keen on. Uh, so anyone like to show me what's going on? Actually, I'm going to cancel that door just because of the issues down here. Um, yep, yeah, I still don't know why. Uh, well, look, we've got a door here, so we're going to dismantle the door, dismantle the wall, and then we've got a room that we originally planned for. Not dump. Oh, definitely not dump. Just want to dismantle. Dumping it would be a waste of money and resources. So let's see. Where else are we going to go? Um, so dismantling the door. Then we just need to dismantle the wall. And then that gives us the room that we originally planned for. Like I just said. So mail. So we put this, make this into a mail room. It's also enclosed. I wonder. We don't even need... Let's... Actually, we don't even need this type of style of door for a mail. So we'll dismantle it, and let's see. It's indoors, minimum five... Oh, five by five. That doesn't work, because this is only four. It's definitely four by... Is it four by ten, I think, we we had it set at. Okay, that's a shame. I, I didn't check the number there very carefully. Huh, okay, well, I'm going to cancel this room on the right, only because we don't need it anymore. Um... I guess the foundations are going to be left there. Yep, uh, that's kind of annoying, but anyway, we'll leave it be. Okay, so we can't use this as a mail room anymore, but we can, can actually use it as a shop. So let's find that again. So shop, shop, yes, there we go. Try it again. Awesome. Which should be minimum four by four ends indoors. So we just need to get the few items as well. Uh, adjacent to room shop front. I'm guessing that is to do with the actual shop front itself. Huh, that's cool. Which side does it go on? I can't tell. Let's zoom in. So the calculator on the bottom, calculator on top, so it goes this way. Uh, I guess we can just place it around... Do it on the other end, so door one side, um, shop front itself on the other side. And of course, once again, getting the concrete tiles down just to keep things relatively balanced and how the design was. But considering uh, this side does not ha uh, have a room anymore, we will actually replace that with gravel. So I'll let people get this done and hopefully we'll get the door removed. Oh, you're just going to take the item. I thought we said, yeah, it is going to be dismantled eventually. I'll let you guys continue doing that. And objects as well, I just realised we are going to be missing a table. So we can place that table probably along the back wall. Um... Yeah, we can have two tables. We've got and a shelf. Oh, the shelves are relatively large. How are we going to position this? I guess we're just going to do something like that, and that's 
should be enough and I think that uh, that's all the requirements that we need for this room but of course before we forget once again we are missing lights since I've turned off the light mode try it there we go one light there one light here and maybe one in the corridor is that in the corridor no, that looks like it's over the shelf itself okay I'll try that again we'll place down the library shelf there we go that fixes it all up I open the door for you awesome you're dismantling it finally let's get around to placing the standard door I think I don't know if it has to be a staff door but I'm just gonna put a standard door because I know we already have one of those around and also power because there is no power in this room itself um, given that this is on the top half of the facility I'll use the top half's power to think that will work best oh actually don't do it like that try it again I want to keep it inside the compound it just makes it easier for our builders to build instead of having to walk the long way around uh, the simple thing is of course that I could just put a door say along here to let people get out but I feel that's a bit of a security risk if someone with a pair of keys okay where was that well it obviously wasn't a big issue so I think we're fine no, um, issue someone with a pair of keys would then escape just through the side wall instead which is not what I'm I'm not too keen on so let's see I think the shop front is all valid now I think all we have to do yeah the items are coming in so all we need to do now is just assign some what was that logistics max three jobs there we go too easy so someone should get around to doing that and that should help with one aspect I do wish that if he clicks on the danger it would go to needs or something that'd be useful let's see needs so that should help on the family side sleep well that will that changes throughout the day uh, warmth um, yeah that's fair enough we could put a heater in there I mean there is a hot bo a water boiler on the outside so what next sleep food hygiene exercise exercise we see exercise we seem to be fine uh, clothes so that goes under laundry okay so we need more laundry than anything else and I think that helps balance most of it out yes I think that should do the job so I'll let these prisoners go back to sleep and yep yeah, to work on increasing our capacity sometime soon but no we do need another laundry so this is not enough I wonder if we need to put more laundry machines down or is it just literally to do with um, the fact that we just don't have enough people cleaning I mean not cleaning I'm um, doing work in a laundry I wonder so this is a janitor currently doing the washing up so let's take a look utilities no it's under stuff janitor we have 10 janitors and there was only two in here maybe we can get another one too and neither of you are really doing work okay another one then gotta make sure that that gets done I think and that would be one factor to certainly help things out and how's the patrol going a parole room going yep visitation we have accessible common room seems to be fine looks like there's no major issues here and yeah so we've got another five more prisoners coming three medium and oh never mind that just changed because we have some of the new prisoners let's take a look at them one two three four and five awesome Ah, okay, there we are. they're going to get searched, and they're going to get sorted, and become part of our prison populace. Now, I wonder as well if it's worth putting a metal detector on this door, given that this is a mail room, and if people decide to send some items through the mail, and they get missed through all the other metal detectors, which I think could be a possibility, I don't know. Let's make the assumption that it is, and we'll place just a metal detector down, and that should do the job quite fine uh, also of, of course not forgetting about the power because they do need additional power so like so and that should uh, be fine now anyway, just need to get someone over and get it done I think after we have um, this work done oh and that's another possible yet yeah, can you please just search search these cells again no, I have to do this manually but I, I have a distinct feeling that someone is mining out because before I believe the actual notification that there was a hole was around the top section here and now it's further along to the wall which doesn't leave me too impressed um, where else we need one last cell to get searched 
Okay, let's see if our guards can get around to doing it. Because I'm not too convinced. I think someone is trying to mine out, and I'm not happy about it. And I just feel that every time we search it, we're not seeing it. There's probably a way of managing it better than I currently am. But for the time being, I don't know it, and we're going to have to leave it like that. Huh. Okay, well, we'll just see what happens some other time. Yeah, I'll just leave it for the time being. And yet the mail room is there. I just do want to get a camera set up in here, given that we don't have anyone deployed in the room itself. I think we'll place it um, along this wall. I think that's the right way to put it. So yeah, one of the uh, builders will come around and place it down for us, just to give us a bit of extra vis vision that we need. I am still getting a bit bummed out that they're not using the footpaths quite as I wanted them to. I wanted to take uh, shortcuts wherever possible. I wonder, when it comes to materials, there isn't anything possibly slower than gravel? It just says slow concrete tiles is fast. Yeah, that doesn't help too much. Hmm. Okay, we'll let that be. And that's a lot of, a lot of um, guards for this area. Oh, and there we are, we have a death. It's going to happen eventually. And hopefully we can deal with it. Maybe we can get people to go and bang up. Like just gets rid of all the prisoners in the current area. Maybe prevents one or two more deaths. So yep, you'll take the dead bodies. And that was two deaths. Oh, I wasn't fast enough then. Or maybe we'll just unlock, uh, undo, un remove bang up now. Because it's, well, <laughs> too late. Oh anyway, well, that's not the end of the world. And let's see, we don't have much vision. I want to keep some vision. So one of these days we'll get... Yep, there we are. Nope, that's not it. We should get um, someone with a camera. Should be placed in here. I'm very sure I told, um, told him to place it down. But I certainly don't see it. Huh. Okay, well, let's try this again. So if we go under... It's not utilities. Let's see. I'm very sure I told him to place it down. Oh, maybe you can't, oh, you can't place it in the corner, that's why. Oh, that's fine. We can get that sorted. Place it there. And yeah, now it's bought. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Fixes up that mistake. So our current cash as well is now 71 grand. I think that would be enough to expand onto the left side, because that is, what's that? 40 grand. Yeah, that does give us the extra room that we're looking for. For sure. Hmm. Also, we need to do a bit of pipe work down there. Something's gone wrong. It's probably because we're missing it. And yeah, if we do that, I think buy this side, which we will. There we go. Buy it. Like out for a second. Yep. Awesome. Nice big area to expand into. So one thing we can certainly do is on the top section, we can expand this section to be a, a larger snitch, snitch cell. Yeah, a snitch, snitch cell. Well, wow, that's a little bit of a Yep, can't say that correctly for some reason. Okay, and we do need to wire this up, which is expected. Um, let's double check. So when we want to expand, we want to probably replace our yard with a bigger yard. So to try and split people up a little more than they currently are, I'm thinking of, let's see, making moving this corridor to come down and around, and then putting a very large yard, which, no, actually changing my mind. Uh, the idea is that well, currently when people go to whatever uh, wherever side they're coming from, so if people are coming from this area, they come down to the yard and then they pull on this edge. Same with when people come from this area, they pull and it's, it gets even worse. Uh, I don't know if um, family members actually come up and use the yard. I, I don't think they do. Okay, so if we were to manage that. Well, if we want to encourage these people to come from the bottom and maybe these people to come from the top. I wonder. Because if we end up making a corridor down, will that... Um, I'll get out the planning mode just so you guys have an idea of what I'm looking at or what I'm sort of trying to visualise. But if we were to... That's pathway, yep. Yeah. So do a pathway sort of roughly all the way down like so. And then to have a yard of some sort around here. But if we would also continue this pathway along here and then try it again, it needs to be one wire. Yep. There we go. And if we then had it something that goes down like that, connect those up there. 
and let's see where else I think we might have given that this is a bit of an unusual sized area we might have just a let's get that down to three again bring this one down and then also have another corridor going something like that sort of roughly in the center this isn't all planned out very well uh, as you can probably tell but that's my idea Oop, missing one thing something like that as well that's my idea of how to do the actual walkways but that feels a little bit awkward um, having this second one down it makes sense uh, in my original thought but no actually gonna remove that because people can then cross over the yard do whatever they need to do and we still have this um, pathway to get access to this area of the yard so yeah actually I will remove this and I guess we'll just manage roughly how long an area or how far that we want people to really be walking over the yard and how big our yard needs to be now the cool thing is we can actually place this with a building this zone so it's not wasted certainly not wasted at all okay actually I'm on speed two let's speed it uh, speed one speed things up again uh, just to make sure our money is in uh, keeps coming in so back down to 33 grand which isn't enough unfortunately and yeah the prison should manage itself anyhow at this point in time so if we were okay so that's the idea I'm going to go and plan it out now so I'll be back in just a sec Okay, there we are. That's what I think we'll be doing when it comes to our new, uh, what are we calling it, yard area. Yard number two. It's a nice big size. It's a lot of work to get done, but I think we'll leave it till the next episode. We have it all planned out, so it's just a matter of actually uh, building it. And that should help um, deal with this sort of um, clustering effect that we're seeing in the yard. So, of course, I'll just reiterate, people come from the top, walk down and enter the top half of the yard. These people will come across, enter the bottom half, and then, depends, I'm not too sure. I don't think any of the family members do come up, but we will mark the yards and have them available for use where required. And the cool thing about it is we do get small little areas that we can start to nestle all sort of other facilities into. So that should be a bit of fun, and we'll see how it goes. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have anything to say, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Uh, now, as I've said in the past, and will say in the future, I'll see you around sometime.